Horsepower and high speed are what you usually think about when it comes to NASCAR racing. But when the cars roll into Austin last week, the technology was impressive. And NASCAR officials ramped up the tech to make sure teams are playing by the rules. We went inside the Optical Scanning Station, or OSS. Check this out. It looks like the coolest disco tech in Austin. There's data and technology flying around all the time from start to finish. But NASCAR's optical scanning station is a game changer when it comes to making sure teams aren't cheating. So this is an uh, optical process, right? Eric Jacuzzi is the vice president of vehicle performance for NASCAR. The teams um, are subjected to pretty tight tolerances on the body, right, and the, and the bottom of the car. So essentially for the most of it, they need to be within about 150 thousandths of an inch, plus or minus. That means every surface must be plus or minus 150 thousandths of an inch, or it's in violation of the rules. These targets um, get installed onto the wheel. The targets measure the camber, toe, and wheel base. Once the car is rolled into the testing center, the tent is closed off. Then eight projectors start a laser light show. 16 cameras start recording the light patterns on the surface of the car, and one camera records an image at the bottom of the car. This is uh, the underwing scan. So 150,000 points of data are gathered and processed into a 3D image for race officials. Green, you're good. You can see the tolerance here. Red means it's too thick. Blue means it's too thin. The technicians outside will bring up the scan of the car and review it with the team, tell them whether they passed or failed. They failed what they need to change, um, as well as all the mechanical measurements. The whole process takes about 90 seconds and makes sure no one has an aerodynamic edge. Everybody's got the same rules to play with, um, and you know, so it's very uh, it's an equal playing field for everybody. And maybe one day they'll add some cool music to the scan. Next week, we're going to take a look at the hunt to cure rare diseases with artificial intelligence. You can check this out on CBSAustin.com and check this out with Walt Makaborski on YouTube.